Hello guys. So in this video, we will see how can we use a shapefile or any data that have time attributes to show it on the map based on this time interval. So for example, if you have a layer for earthquakes or any natural disaster over a period of time, you can show it on the map based on the time that it happened. So as you saw before, if you remember the time settings we enabled on ArcGIS desktop, it's exactly the same thing here, but we will see how can we do this on ArcGIS Pro. So what I want you to do is to go insert a new map and we will call this map time and we will change the name of this map to time and we will right click and add one of our time enabled layers. You will go to the course data folder and you will see that you have a folder called time and you have two layers inside you have earthquakes and hurricanes. So we will add both of them say OK and we will show the time for the earthquakes in the United States. So let's hide the hurricanes. So let's open the attribute table and see what is the date range we have for the earthquakes in the US. So here we have the date field. Let's make sure it's sorted ascending. And here it starts from January 2000 all the way to, I think 2008, yes, to July 2008 and also here we have the magnitude value so we will use the magnitude value to uh, change the symbology to make it bigger if it's bigger mag magnitude and smaller if it's a smaller magnitude and we will use the date to show the time interval using the time player so here we will close this one and we will right click and go to symbology and in symbology we will come here and use vary symbology by attribute and we will go to the size and we will choose make the size based on the magnitude and here we are not going to change the normalization and we will just say enable size range and the size the minimum size so every single mag magnitude will have a certain size of the point but as you see here the range is very large so we will make the range for example from 4 is fine up to 30 so the maximum size of any point on the map will be 30 and now it looks much better so let's close this one and as you see right now we see all the earthquakes that happened from 2000 up to 2008 in the United States and we see how big it is based on the size of the point so in order to enable the time we need to go to the layer right click and go to properties and we will go to the time properties right here and we will start from the top here we define if this time is just one time that happens once or it have a start and end date. For the earthquakes it have only one date, it doesn't have start and end time. So here we will choose each feature has a single time field. And we will define the time date as our date field. And here we have the time extent that shows us the minimum time we have in our attribute table and the maximum time we have in our attribute table. And you can change it if you have other times. What you really need to know that is important, this checkbox right here. If you have a layer that is connected to an enterprise database or ArcSDE and this data is updated live, like maybe every earthquake happens, this data is automatically updated, you should check this checkbox to make sure that your data have the latest settings and you don't update it every time the layer is updated. So if this earthquake layer is updated, like along the time, like every single day, then I will check this one. Uh, that's the option you have right here. And then the time interval, here you define how you want your interval of the time to be. So you want to, when you play the slider for the time on the map, you want to show the data every 10 seconds, every one day, every month. So because we have the data here from 2000 to 2008, we will make this interval one month. So that means when we play the slider, it will move every month starting from January 2nd 2000 up to July 2008 so the data we will see on the map when we play the time slider it will be showing every single month separately so here we will make it one and we will choose from here month and then here you can change the time zone if you know what time zone you have your data you can change it from here I'll keep it the default the last option here is the time offset so as we said we will show the data every single month I wanted to show the data for this entire month not specific days in this month but when the slider move from a month to month I want to show all the earthquakes that happened in this specific month so here again I'll choose one month 
and that's it for how we can change the time properties once we click ok you will see that you will have a new tab opened here that is the time and now we can see it because we have one of the layers on our map that have time settings enabled so now let's go to this tab right here and we have so many options right here most of them we already defined in the settings but in order to run the slider click on this time and you will see that you have a slider right here that will show you the earthquakes that happened in the United States from 2000 to 2008 with one month interval so let's go ahead and click play you can click play here or you can click play here so I'm gonna do click here and you'll see that now it will go one month every single step and it will show us the data for this month on the map you can change how fast or how slow it goes by moving the slider right here so I can make it really slow or I can make it really fast and it will go much faster also here you can change the direction maybe you want to start from the beginning of time till the end of time or the opposite or you want it to repeat when it's done or you want it to reverse after it goes to the end it goes back again to the beginning step by step it's up to you you can change the settings from here also here you can change the start and end the time again if you want to see the data from 2000 to 2003 you can change it right here and the rest of the options here is the same options we enabled from the earthquake uh, properties so that's it how can you uh, enable the time for your layers how can you play it how can you change the settings depends on what kind of data you have and what time frame you have you need to understand all this information before you set up your time properties so that's it for the time how can you enable the time on your layer and how can you view it on your map and how can you change the settings for the time to make the slider and make your map active as you see right now we can see the things that happened over a period of time and we can have a better perspective on what's going on over the time thank you so much and if you have any questions please let me know thanks